Hi guys, this is a, a small video of what we did today in class, the preparing for the figure drawing. And uh, today we have a salmon colored bistro chair. We borrowed it from the Sarasota Art Museum Bistro and it's a famous chair. Uh, the background is avocado green as a not necessarily 100% complementary color, but yes, they complement each other. This is for people who missed class or maybe want to see again what happened while they were drawing. This is a famous chair. It's called the number 14 chair and it was designed by Michael Tonet. In 1859 already, he came out with this chair as um, it, it, it was actually for bistros, for cafes, and especially designed for that from bent wood. He, he developed this years, it took years to develop it. And he bent the wood and it's made really of six pieces, 10 screws, and it could be assembled on the spot. So already then he figured a way of uh, mass produce. And this was in the first years, it was 50 million samples of these chairs that got everywhere. The Sarasota Art Museum painted them orange. They're originally of course of wood. And the reason why we paint chairs instead of the model is because first of all, the chairs are very still, but we also study the negative spaces and we study them until we can see what really is fast. I mean, when you study it and correct it, study, correct, study, correct, then eventually you train your eyes to, as soon as the figure is there, to see it very fast and you can focus on the shape of the hands or the head, you can focus on other things. So you can set it up really uh, roughly, very light, and then start detailing. I made a, a sample in the beginning to see how you need to build up all the parts at once. And then you make a choice, which one you're going to detail or which one you're going to leave as is. So have fun with this. Practice it at home. Just get a piece of colored paper, if you wish, and a kitchen chair and practice it at home. Anybody can do this. The complementary colors are also in the shading. The shading, they're not solid colors. Even the salmon, the orange, has a lot of green in it, but the green also has maroon and purple. And by building these colors up, you make a very rich uh, um, total. The whole is very rich, but you also can control all the nuance that you see. Have fun and let's talk next week. Here's the chair. The organic shapes actually cause a lot of problems because it's about the curves. There's no rectangles or squares or it's all very, it's all in motion basically. Nothing straight. That's why we need to find the negative space. The background is going to be more important than um, what we know, what we see. Look at the shading because the shade of the chair also is a shape. It's a negative shape. One is more defined than the other, as you can see. So you blend that part more than the front part. Here it is again. It's a little bit brighter. Uh, and here we're going to set it up. I set it up in pencil very lightly. I made a lot of mistakes here, but I don't have an eraser and it doesn't matter because I will correct it later when I see how the negative spaces are actually working. I also don't have the right color green, so I have to build it up as well. 
There, this is a cold green, a little bit of bluish green. And um, I will go over it with yellow to make that avocado yellow. Still, the lines are not very defined. If I would make it bigger, I can let the white stand out more so I can make the sides have a feeling of roundness. But I should have made it bigger so you can see that better. See how I'm building up the colors all at once. The, they all have relationships with each other. I don't have this beautiful salmon color in my toolbox and I also don't know how to build that up with exactly the same lightness. Maybe you can do it to put white on top of orange but I doubt it. That is really difficult. Kathy here is uh, have is having a, the, the global shapes already on paper and now she's going to the negative spaces which she does very well. Um, just follow it. I'll keep my mouth shut. Just follow it and see how you're working. Everybody's working different. Everybody has their own personality but all we, what we want to do is trust our eyes and see what's out there instead of thinking that we know how this chair is is looking looks like sorry couldn't find my words today by by drawing in the negative shapes like this she also uh, makes it visible more visible and that's the whole idea of having these negative shapes stand out so you you can be as accurate as possible just follow it and have fun watching this do your own thing and go for it
here you see how everybody did during this class. Um, it's a lot of it is your own style, the way you do things, and a lot of things you will develop as you go. Um, look at it. Look at what you would like to change if this is yours. Look at what the the really good parts are. Be proud of what you did, because this is a huge accomplishment. No matter how you look at it. Keep going. Keep drawing.